Hello! If you look on LED circuits in more detail, you will find very often this circuit, but also this circuit. What's the purpose of this resistor, and when to use this circuit or this circuit, I will show after the intro. Today we want to investigate why sometimes in parallel to the LED there is a resistor and what is its purpose. This switch is either a transistor on a printed circuit board or a transistor as a part of an integrated circuit on a printed circuit board. If a device is in use for several years, some dust and dirt could accumulate on the surface of the printed circuit board. Furthermore, temperature changes could add humidity on the surface of the printed circuit board. This mix of dust, dirt and humidity could lead to a parasitic resistance in parallel to the switching transistor. The value of this parasitic resistance could be some megaohm and down to the 100 kiloohm range. For a robust circuit design, the experienced engineer will design the circuit in such a way that this parasitic resistance will not lead to a malfunction of the device. Of course, you can avoid this parasitic resistance by coating or dust and humidity protected housing, but this drives cost and therefore it should be avoided. Here an experiment to simulate the effect of the parasitic resistance. We have a 12 volt power supply and with this line we go direct via the 470 ohm resistor to the LED and back to the power supply. With the voltmeter we measure the forward voltage of the LED and additionally we could switch to a 100 kilo ohm or 1 mega ohm resistor which simulates our parasitic resistance. Here our measurement setter. We come from the plus 12 volt power supply via the red line, go to this bar. From this bar via the red line or the 100 kilo ohm resistor or the 1 mega ohm resistor to these three bars via the black line and via the 470 ohm resistor to the LED and from the negative side of the LED via this bar and the black line back to the power supply. The blue and black line go also to the voltmeter and we see here the forward voltage of the LED. We now connect the black line with the red line which is the normal operation of the LED and we see 3 volt forward voltage and have the normal current. If I connect it via the 100 kilo ohm resistor we have still a forward voltage of 2.5 volt and the LED is illuminating and even with the 1 mega ohm resistor we have 2.45 volt forward voltage and the LED is still illuminating. As we have seen with this circuit, we can drive enough current through the parasitic resistance that the LED lights up. If we connect a resistor parallel to the LED, the parasitic resistance and the parallel resistor on the LED build up a voltage divider with about 1 volt output voltage on the LED and this is not enough to light up the LED. I have now put in a 10 kilo ohm resistor in parallel to the blue LED. When I now switch to the red line, which is the normal operation, we see a forward voltage of 3 volt and the LED is normal illuminating. When I switch via the 100 kilo ohm, we have only 1 volt forward voltage and the LED is not illuminated. And if I switch to the 
uh, one mega ohm uh, we have 0 0.1 volt forward voltage and the LED is also not illuminating before we decide when to use the parallel resistance on the LED and when not we want to have a look on the typical usage of LEDs LEDs are used for light source, for background illumination, for displays or a search illumination which means to illuminate the symbol for the key function to find the key in the darkness and LEDs are very often used for indication e.g. state indication whether an air condition is on or off or error indication whether the engine has a malfunction or a warning e.g. a low outside temperature warning to make you aware of a slippery road in case of light source, background illumination and search illumination most of the users will not recognize when the LED light up caused by the parasitic resistance and even if they recognize it, it will not lead to a wrong behavior of the customer therefore this simplified circuit can be used very different is the situation on indication if the user gets the wrong state error or warning it could lead to a not suitable action of the user and this could result finally in mild up to severe consequences therefore if the parasitic resistance could not be excluded by another method an LED for indication should always have a parallel resistance which tears the forward voltage in the off state so low that it not lights up in the off condition finally I want to give you an outlook on part 3 in part 3 I will show you how to calculate the pre-resistor and if necessary the parallel resistor on the LED that's all for today if you like my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and to be informed about new videos, activate the bell. Bye bye.